She was the longest serving monarch in British history, and with it came a sense of permanence. A state funeral like no other, the culmination of a period of national mourning that has witnessed both the end of the second Elizabethan age and the birth of a new era for Britain's monarchy. The front line here hasn't moved ever since the Minsk Agreement was signed, with neither sides making territorial gains or losses. While this war continues to arouse condemnation of the Russian invasion on the world stage, here in Ukraine, each death locally seems only to strengthen the resolve to join the fight. Protests and strikes over the rising cost of living in France, but this one is by far the largest, with workers from across the public sector. Tens of thousands of Belgians take to the streets, unable to cope with dramatic price hikes. Of course, it's not just holiday presents that have gotten more expensive. It's things like rent and mortgage rates. In response, the Bank of England's raised interest rates, the cost of borrowing, to their highest in more than a decade. Ambulance workers have joined a long list of public sector strikes, driven to industrial action because of low pay in the face of a crippling cost of living crisis. I once again offer a full apology. And I want you to know how sad I am to be giving up the best job in the world. I am a fighter and not a quitter. That I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Now, as he sweeps into Downing Street for the first time as Prime Minister, it's time to set out his agenda. I will place economic stability and confidence at the heart of this government's agenda. Mexico's got one of the highest rates of journalist murders in the world. So it just seems constant in this chat between journalists here, um, the tension um, and the, the threats that something could possibly happen. Five enormous galaxies locked in a cosmic dance. This is one of the spectacular images taken by the Webb Space Telescope. They designed this experiment so that the fusion fuel stayed hot enough, dense enough, and round enough for long enough that it ignited. It's a clean energy source that could revolutionize the world. We've been